YouTube. Welcome to the shop. Thomas here. So, you know, I've been uh, doing a little bit of uh, research on uh, 9 volt rechargeable batteries because if you're like me, you've got a lot of these little, like this little transistor tester and multimeters and various other electronics, and you, you know, end up using a lot of uh, 9 volt batteries. And, um, you know, uh, nine volt batteries, uh, alkaline batteries are kind of expensive. You know, I mean, 10 bucks for like one, sometimes you can get them on sale. Um, and you know, I've tried the various nickel metal, uh, nine volts and, you know, uh, they just, you know, they don't have the capacity. Most 9 volt uh, rechargeables only are only in the 200 to 280 milliamp range, whereas an alkaline 9 volt is about 600 milliamps. So, you know, they're really disappointing basically because of the fact that you have to charge them constantly and they're always, you know, seem to be completely discharged, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, uh, about a year and a half ago, I started looking for lithium ion batteries, uh, 9 volt uh, batteries, and I came across these EBLs. Um, and they have, like, just like an alkaline, they have 600 milliamps. Although, you know, just so you guys know, I don't have a load tester, so I can't, you know, put it on a load and see exactly how many milliamps and how much time it is. That's one reason why I've taken so long to, to review these things is um, the only way I could do it basically until I get a load tester is like actually use them in all the stuff that I, uh, uh, I have. And I've been extremely satisfied with these things. They don't seem to, you know, they last, as far as I can tell, they last as long as an alkaline. Um, I'm sure that, that, that 600 may be a little less and maybe a little more, but, uh, you know, they're not cheap. Like this, you know, came with a five pack, a nice little, um, case of five of these and a, uh, a USB five cell charger. Uh, I think it was 45 bucks, um, which is pretty expensive, but uh, since the fact that they have been lasting long, and I put them in everything now, um, I stopped using alkaline completely. Um, they have, you know, over the year and a half, this has paid for itself many, many times over now. Um, you know, I mean, also when I when I first got these, there there really wasn't a whole lot of lithium ion nine volt rechargeable batteries that I came across, but now there seems to be a whole bunch of them. Um, you know, not not going to name off a whole bunch of them, but uh, maximum power was another one I was looking at. It's a little less uh, milliamp capacity, but they've got pretty good reviews. But uh, I've been extremely satisfied with these. So um, t when these, when I need more, when these uh, stop working, I'll probably end up just getting some more of these. Um, they are just like most rechargeable batteries. They're not quite nine volt. This is about eight point four. 8.6 in that area instead of 9 volt um, which may be a problem in certain situations but uh, everything that I've put them in they they seem to work it's like the the preamp I use for my camera here for my microphone uh, instead of having a f uh, uh, f four bars it shows up as three bars but it lasts just as long um, so and with phantom power and everything on that preamp it uh, I haven't had any problems with it and just just so you know, it's like a nine volt battery. This nickel metal, I mean, you can, you know, there's there's <laughs> they're still really expensive. There's eight point four volts, uh, Energizer and Duracell. They're at one hundred seventy five milliamps. So that's like nothing. I mean, they're not that large capacity to begin with. One hundred seventy five milliamps, ridiculous. You know, um, Tenergy, you know, the rating is at two hundred milliamps, which is a lot better. EBLs um nickel metals at 280 milliamps but you you know you're talking about 19 dollars for six and you're going to be re, you know charging them constantly i just i don't i don't see the point um you can get uh ebo has a, a lithium ion 
uh, version of this that has uh, uh, four batteries for $22 and a charger that comes with it. And then they have another one for $28 with five batteries with a, I think it's a two cell charger. Like I said, this is a five cell charger. It, it's a little bit more expensive. Same thing with maximum power, 550 milliamps, $21 for two cells plus a charger or $37 with four cells plus a charger. And uh, I did find one that I, I'm kind of interested in. It's called Keenstone. Uh, it's a 9 volt, 800 milliamp uh, battery, which is that's it has better capacity than a, than an alkaline, and it's $25, uh, three cells plus a charger. I mean, that's that's pretty nice. Um, and I, I might try that one. I, I don't know. I, like I said, I've been really, really happy with these. They, 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 they charge up really well. I like the fact that it's on a USB, um, you know, so it's just five volts, not a big deal. And I like the fact that, you know, I can, I can put uh, five of these and you don't have to have, you, you know, you can do one at a time, two at a time, five at a time. It doesn't matter. They have their individual lights. So red charging, greens charged. So I, I really like that. One thing I'd like to uh, mention, though, uh, I'm sure you notice I have a number two on this battery. Uh, the reason why I do that, and I, in fact, the all of them, I uh, I, uh, I put a, a number on them. And the reason why I do that is um, as I'm using them, I try to cycle through. You know, like if I use this one up, I, I try to go to the number three unless it's already being used. Um, so they're not... So I'm not constantly using the single cell and just burning up this one cell. Also, the reason, the other reason why I do this is because um, if I start having one that seems to be, you know, not holding or acting up funny, I, I can look at the number and, and, and see it's that one. In fact, um, I, you know, this is my uh, GoPro little charger. I do the same thing on that. I just cycle through. And um, if one seems to be acting up, then I, I know which one it is. Um, so I think it's a, a really good practice to do. And same thing with, you know, with every battery, I, I, I put numbers on them. That way, I, if there is any problems with them, you know, you'll know pretty, pretty quickly whether or not if it's the same cell or if it's all of the cells. So... I'll have a link in this for a couple of these things, this one and the other two and a couple of these other uh, brands and stuff uh, in case anyone's interested. But yeah, let me know what you guys think.